This is the Bend R9X, a $3,000 gravel bike from Polygon. And today we're gonna put it through the paces to let you know what I think of this rig. So what are we working with? It's a one by 12 with a 40 tooth in the front and a 10 to 44 in the back. Hydraulic brakes with Explore rival access shifting, wireless, which also connects to the access dropper. Very impressed that's on there. Yeah, I'm glad to see that. It's got more mounts than you know what to do with. This thing's rambling on Novatech carbon wheels set up with 700 by 44 millimeter tires. And the brand I've never heard of. What are they called? Rocket Man tires. Ha! <laughs> I like that, okay. Oh, and yes, it does accommodate fenders. Thank God. All the bases are covered on this build, which I'm, I'm vibing on. All right. But first, I'm gonna set it up tubeless and I'm gonna swap out the 45 millimeter stem for something a little longer. Shall we? I think we should. So what's the one mile review? You know, uh, honestly, I gotta say, it, it feels like a bike, which, you know, you never, you never really know. Spin the legs, make the wheels go. Huh, I'm happy with how it climbs. That's always a nice thing. Ron just got us a little smarter here. First misty rain of the season. The smell is out of sight. It's like a euphoric aroma just passing through my cranium. And he just informed us that this is called it's petrichor. Give the people some more. Give the people some more. You know, when I first unboxed this bike, also, this is a demo bike, it's not mine. It felt a little soulless. It just felt a little mass produced. But changing the stem and making the tires tubeless, it really helped kind of give it a little bit of personality. The ride feel instantly went up. What I'm getting at is sometimes you get a bike and it doesn't feel like yours. You spend a little bit of time with it, maybe put a sticker here, a little scuff there. It starts to get a little personality and then it starts to feel like your bike. Yeah, it just takes it just takes a little bit of time. All right, let's get you some scuffs. And this bike weighed in at just over 20 pounds, which for this mid-level, light as titanium aluminum frame with a dropper, that's a good weight. You're feeling trim, you're feeling light. Uh, we're calling that box check. You know, I'm so burnt out on sweet potatoes. I'm impressed with your endurance on them. You gotta switch between varietals. Go from a garnet to a russet, to a Japanese sweet potato, to a Stokes. They're, they're all, they all have their own little terroir. Dropper engaged. <laughs> I think I have too much PSI. Are these mushrooms? Oh my god, they are. Bolialis centaurius. It's a rare varietal found only in the Pacific Northwest. And strangely enough, you can also use it to patch punctures. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Hello? Okay, yeah, we'll be there in 20 minutes. Whoa! <laughs> This is the first time I've ever ridden or even heard of Polygon bikes. I know that they're more well-known in the mountain bike circles, which is cool. Hey, I'm here for it. I like trying new things, and this here thing is new. Weather's getting wild. Time to suit up. Shake dry for this descent's protection. Ron's going with- This is not shake dry, but it's yellow. All right, here we go. Feels poignant and directed. Hey Ron, I'm curious, what do you look for in a gravel bike? Uh, uh, proper gearing, through axles, and probably 700C. What size would you want those 700s to go to? Probably like 45. 
Okay, well, what do I look for in a gravel bike? I want something that feels good, is capable, and it gets the job done. Quantify that. 52 by 3X29. Ron, what are your thoughts on aluminum bikes? I've literally never ridden one. Oh. I never have. Oh, this thing feels awesome. I've ridden aluminum now. Aluminium! Oh, Ron's a tall glass of water here. This one definitely feels more. Leather? And this one feels more. Latex. So you can push us around and about. Stop anything down the road. You treat we like we are a gun goat. We only see you when you want the boat. Oh man. Uh, Alright, we was somewhere for a little loss. Maybe it was by design. Maybe it was by... maybe it wasn't. Alright, we gotta backtrack a little bit. But you know, worst things could happen to someone else at some other day. At least this bike is capable. The rain keeps stacking up. We're not quite sure where the route is. If we don't find the actual route, I don't think we've got enough food to make it through the day. left. We're back! Give the people some more. Give the people some more. Give the people some more. This road's got a lot of pent up aggression. Novatech, Rocket Man. This bike has some OEM pieces, which is a way to save money on parts. They're often made in the same factories that makes all the brands that we know and trust, except without their price tag. It's a clever way to make product. But the real thing I want to know, if you could make your own tires, what would you call them? Rocket Man is pretty good. I know you've got some better ones though. Let us know. <laughs> and performance wise, this stuff is fine. It's no different than an Easton and a WTB. It just has an unfamiliar branding. Or you take that branding off and then it's whatever you want it to be. Which is called what? Wow! How's that bike feel? It feels good. It feels solid. It honestly doesn't feel any different than any other gravel bike I've had before. So it's it's in there. What do you think of the back triangle? I'm kind of liking it. The more time I spend looking at your back triangle, I start to like it. What do you think? Ah! Yeah. Necklace or a charm? Is that a bracelet? This is actually a light, which is it's from Bookman, and I love how tiny it is. Get a little blink there. It's like so easy to put on any bike. Dude, I need five of those. Because we'll you'll definitely lose one. This is a very questionable entrance to something here. I hope this is the way we need to go. Ah! All right, single track. Oh, real weird right there. <laughs> Very stoked on this dropper at the moment. And this week's episode is brought to you by Bikes Online. That's where this polygon came from. The best place to find bikes. Online.com Boom scooter, bull bucker, book tender, long flume, sidewinder. We just did a healthy amount of single track. Frame fatigue report. Kind of nothing to report. It was pretty, pretty manageable. Hmm, we'll see how it feels later. Clean plate club. Dirty plate club. Hey, 
20% grade. That's just right there. <sighs> oh, cool. Hey, it gets worse. I keep looking at this bike and I keep thinking it's having a bit of an identity crisis. The Technar font with all the aggressive performance angles of the bike, they don't necessarily match the fact that this bike is designed for adventuring, which it's also telling me it wants to do because it has mounts for every conceivable bag combination available. To me, the long haul travel tree rambler isn't looking to KOM anything. It just wants to vibe out in the woods. This bike's telling me I gotta go fast and earn DOS points. To me, there's a bit of a, there's a bit of a disconnect. Just another day of fit and cycling. You got me out here, you gotta get me out of here. Deal? Just hit turbo. Woo. Oh, and they do have two different build options of this. There's a tier up and a tier down. So whatever your flavor is. I'll put a link to them down below. Which build would you go with? I'm curious. I think the middle, the middle of the road is pretty, it's hard to beat. At long last, we've made it. Yeah, that's, that's proper. That's, that's how you know you put it through the paces. And the ride by the numbers? Five hours, 40 minutes, rolling time. 63 miles. And 5,248 feet of elevation. If you're looking for a well-equipped gravel bike, carbon wheels, axis, group, with a dropper, this is not a bad choice. I don't know, maybe I kinda like the frame lines now. Get this bike, swap the stem, make it tubeless, ride off into the sunset. Or if you're us, ride off into the cloud of rain and grime. Mm -hmm. but, but put fenders on before that, because that was a fail. Oh, one last thing about this bike. Check out this video where we go to the Metolius Basin. We get crazy buck nutty on some ramble gramble good times. I think you're gonna enjoy it. I know you're gonna enjoy it. We'll see you over there.